There are things in this world of bushcraft that I understand. There are things in this world of bushcraft that I don't understand, but eventually I can kind of wrap my head around them. And then there's some things in this world of bushcraft that I don't understand, and no matter how hard I try, I just can't wrap my head around them. And one of those is patches. Hi folks, I'm Craig Taylor, and as always, a huge thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel, The Bushcraft Padawan, and thank you for joining me in this week's Thursday's Thought. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm back out in the woods again. Recovery is going well, painfully slow, with the emphasis on the painfully and the slow. Boom, boom, tsh. But, but recovery is going well. Still can't drive. I've very kindly had my wife brought me out to the woods. You've seen Willow hurtling around in the background. The car's parked just out of camera shot here to make it look like I'm in the great wilderness when in actual fact, I'm just on the edge of a car park. Um, let's get back to patches then. I'm a member of a number of, of online communities around bushcraft. Some are on Facebook, many are on Facebook, some are outside of Facebook. And over the past, I don't know, three or four years, I've seen a real increase and buzz and excitement and conversation and blah, blah, blah around patches. Now, I'm not talking about patches that you might put on your clothes to repair a hole, or patches you might put on your thermarest to, to stop the air leaking out, or patches you might put on your Gore-Tex jacket in order to, again, you know, in, in, in order to, to keep the, the, the integrity. I'm talking about patches that you stick on your, on your clothes that, that's got a, a, a name or a symbol or a badge or, or something on it. it it's those, those are the sorts of patches that I I'm having a struggle to understand what the, uh, the excitement is around them. Um, I, I just don't get it. I'm, I'm not saying, before anybody starts jumping on me, please don't jump on me, I've got a bad leg. But if anyone starts jumping all over me in the comments, I'm not saying patches are a bad thing. I'm not saying that if you're into patches, you are inherently evil. I'm not saying that. I am genuinely saying I don't get them help me understand what it's all about. Now, I'm used to wearing things in the past on my clothes that you could consider a patch or a badge. I was in the army for 16 years. At the point where I left the army, I had three chevrons on my arm, I had a set of para wings on this shoulder, a commando dagger on this shoulder here. If I was in, in, in dress uniform, I might have some cross rifles or cross swords or some medal ribbons. So I absolutely get wearing badges to, to showcase who you are, the position that you hold, the qualifications that you hold. I get, I get the needs or I get the, uh, the logic and the purpose of wearing badges in those circumstances. It's, it's these bushcraft type patches that I just don't, again, not saying you're a bad person, I just don't get them. Part of me wonders, and maybe I'm overthinking this, but there is a huge similarity, or there are similarities, aren't there, between the military and bushcrafting. We wear the same sort of clothing-ish. We carry similar sorts of equipment. We sleep on the ground. We, we, we like being outdoors. We cook outdoors. We eat outdoors. That bloody dog's doing my head in outdoors. Um, so that there, are, there are similar veins of similarity between going out on bushcrafting and, and I'm being very broad here, but being in the military, particularly in the army, I'm thinking. So I'm wondering, is, is, is this interest in badges in the bushcraft fraternity, is that um, a bushcrafter's way of, of ticking that box? And again, I've been overly simplistic here, but of ticking that box to say, well, the military do it, so yeah, so now I've got some badges and patches. I don't think it is. By God, it would be tenuous if it was. Maybe that's just showing how my mind works. But I, just, I don't think it's that. But it must be something, because there's an absolute frenetic desire and, and real um, almost cultist I said cult almost cultist 
um, following of, of these sorts of, of badges and patches. I do know that some bushcraft schools, no names, no pack drill, offer patches as a means of recognition of having completed one of their courses. So uh, it's a badge of recognition, uh, it's a badge of qualification. I get that, I, I sort of get that, I, I do, I get the logic of that. Um, it's, it's the wearing of the patches for the sake of wearing of the patches that I still don't understand. I did hope when I sat down to record this that as I was talking through out loud that, um, that the penny would drop, that the act of talking out loud to somebody else, albeit a camera lens, would make me think, oh, that's it, that's it. But here we are, six or so minutes into the video and that penny still hasn't dropped, I'm afraid. So, over to you. Are you as, as puzzled and phased and confused around this, this, this bushcraft patch thing as I am? <laughs> am I the only person that's confused by it? It won't be the last time. Do you wear patches? What's your rationale for wearing patches? Again, I'm not having a go. If you do, I just don't get it. If you wear patches, why do you wear them? What, 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 what does it bring to the game? Um, what's, your, what's the motivation? What's the rationale? What's the logic? What's the reasoning behind patches? I'm, I'm keen to learn. I'm keen to have that fog of curiosity of many lifted from my mind. So whatever, whatever side of the fence you're on, and it's not about being on a side of the fence, but whether you do or you don't, let me know in the comments below. It would be appreciated. Thank you very much. If you're a subscriber, a huge, huge thank you. Numbers are growing. I'm fast approaching 4,000. And we know what happens, don't we, when I hit a thousand mark. If you don't, check back in my channel for some of the previous giveaways that I've done. Figure out how you can um, take part I've given it away, haven't I, in a future giveaway. Um, if you're a subscriber, thank you. If you're not, why not click on that red subscribe button right now and I will see you out in again in the woods. Maybe a little bit more mobile than I am at the moment. Maybe not in the very near future. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care. Cheers.